The letterpress technique creates a great background look by using an embossing folder or embossing plate and pressing ink into the recessed areas of the background. But you can take this up a step by adding a second color on top. Let me show you the tools and products you're going to need to do this technique. First, you're going to need some inks, and I'm using two of the Tim Holtz Distress inks. One is Antique Linen, and the other one is Spun Sugar. Then you're going to need an embossing plate or an embossing folder, and I'm using the Floral Fantasy Cuddlebug Embossing Folder. And then you're going to need some cardstock, and I'm going to use the Gina K Designs Heavy Base Weight Ivory cardstock for my project. To begin, you're going to open up your embossing folder, or if you're using an embossing plate, you're just going to choose one of the sides of the plate, and you're going to ink up the entire one side of the embossing folder. Now, you can either pat the ink on, or you can rub it on, depending on what kind of ink you have. For this one, I'm just going to pat it all on there, because I want to get it nice and wet. Then I'm going to need my cuddle bug for this. So let me bring that out here. I'm going to start with my A plate and a B plate. And now I'm going to position my cardstock into my cuddle bug folder. So I'm going to use the dry side and center the piece of cardstock so that it is perfectly centered the way I want it. Now it doesn't matter so much on a folder like this, but if you're using the Swiss dot or you're using something with lines, you do need to make sure it's straight. And by using the dry side, you're not gonna worry about getting any ink on it until the last possible second. Now I have it where I want it, and now I'm going to just fold that closed and lay it down on my B plate. Pop the other B plate on top and run it through. And what this is doing is, this is pressing ink into my heavy piece of cardstock. Can you see that, how that looks? What, a, what an elegant look that is. Now you can use that look all by itself and go ahead and make a project out of it. But if you want to step it up a little bit, it really is fun to add a second color on top. So I'm going to grab some of my sponge sugar ink and just a direct to paper technique by rubbing this ink pad right over my embossed piece of cardstock. Now you don't want to press real heavy or hard because you really don't want the recessed areas to get any of the pink ink. You only want the embossed areas, the, the areas that are sticking up to pick up the ink. So you can see what this looks like. Isn't that pretty? Now because I'm using distress inks, I really could mix even more colors in there if I wanted to since they blend so nicely together. But I think I'm gonna stop just there like that because that really is a pretty combination, that brown and pink. Let me show you a couple finished projects I did. The first project, I used the Argyle folder, and for this one, I stopped just at the letterpress part, so you can see what that looks like. It does give it a very antique look, really pretty for a type of masculine card like this one might be, although I would send this to a girlfriend too. And what I've used here is the telephone and the hello friend greeting from the new Vintage Chic Stamp TV kit. And then I just cut out my image with one of the classic ovals and then used a lacy oval for behind it. Now, I wanted to get work this particular uh, piece into a project. So let me show you that project. And again, here I used the new Vintage Chic Stamp TV kit, the bicycle image with the enjoy the ride saying, I thought this would make a really nice graduation card. Just thinking you've got your whole life ahead of you, a bunch of exciting things, enjoy the ride. And I added a little bit of that spun sugar ink here around the square just to kind of tie it all in together. And you can see how pretty that is. Now, if this was a masculine card, you could have chosen a darker brown ink or maybe a soft blue, and that would have set it off nicely too. And it would have made it a little bit less feminine, a little more masculine. Try reversing the inks by pressing the darker color into your paper and highlighting with a lighter color and have fun playing with color combinations that you don't normally use for fabulous, fun, and unexpected results.